Good morning, guys. Welcome to Words of Wisdom Wednesday. I hope that you get out today and enjoy the sun because it is going to be super cold tomorrow and for the rest of the week. So make sure that you're looking for your jackets tonight and that you have them ready to put on. Also, I want to remind you that Walmart is open a lot of the time, so is the Dollar Tree. So if you don't have pencils or pens or glue or any of that, please make sure that the next time you're in Lamp Passes or even down here at the Dollar Store that you are getting school supplies to replenish those that you have, okay, or that you don't have. I have a couple of people that caught with Hornet Pride. I'm so excited. Riley Arden was one of the ones for this week. He has made so much progress in a, a short amount of time. He is always ready to learn and he has a smile on his face. I'm so glad that I get to see his bright smile every day. And that came from Mrs. Bernie. You know what, every time I see Riley, he has a smile on his face too. So congratulations, Riley. We have another one. On Friday, everyone went to UIL and they did an excellent, excellent job because we won. Like, was there ever a doubt? Anyways, we had a student who went around and picked up trash and cleaned up after the other students who didn't do that in the gym during the UIL events. Now, I'm going to tell you, but this is one for me because uh, I think it is awesome for us to pick up after ourselves and for others and leaving our environment clean, whether it be in the building, outside the building. We're always picking up trash and recycling. And Jessica Dang and Mrs. Ivy's room was the one who was caught picking up the trash and making sure that Lomita looked really good when we left and not trashy. So thank you, Jessica, and welcome to the Hornet Pride. Will you please stop by my office sometime today, and I will give you your certificate and give your Hornet Pride ticket so you can shop at the Hornet Pride store. I've also checked with your teachers and our wonderful librarian, Ms. Wooten, to see how many books that you're checking out, how many AR tests that you're taking, and to see if your levels are improving. So when you're going to the computer lab to take those tests or when you're with Mrs. Moresco and she's questioning you, make sure that you're showing your very, very best so that we know how much growth you have, okay? So congratulations to our Hornet Pride recipients this week and I hope that you all bundle up because tomorrow is going to be very, very cold. Oh, and let me say hello to my second graders. I'm watching you. Y'all are doing a great job. Thank you and have a great day.